Lords in game development are pretty hard thing. If you're interested in about this topic, then check out this video. For a game developer who worked on, for example, the Last of Us series or the Uncharted 4, talks about this topic. It's quite interesting. Check it out. And in VR, there's a few other difficulties. But don't worry, in this tutorial, we're going to need only the basics. So let's dive in. So this is going to be fairly easy. All we need to do is go to the Polygon Starter Pack Prefabs. And we need to find the door frame. There it is. Just rotate it a little bit. And then I'm just gonna drag the door in. And now what we're gonna do is just uh, make it its uh, child object and reset its transform. Now we need to drag it to the hinge position. So just give or take. And now we can rotate it as a door. I'm just going to give it a different material. Let's go to the materials and I'm going to select the gray one. Now it doesn't really matter if it's uh, colliding or not at this point because it's going to be just a simplified version. First we need to add a rigid body. We don't need the gravity in this case. And I'm also going to add something called hinge joint. And this one's basically will allow us to rotate it around an axis. So right now, as you can see, it rotates around the X axis, but we need to rotate it around the Y axis. So all we need to do is just change the axis, the X to zero and the Y to one. Now, if we check it out, now it's going to rotate around, around the Y axis. There's a few options what we can set and we will get back to it in a minute. But first we need a grabbable knob. So to do that, I'm again going to create an empty game object and I'm going to move it to the knobs position. And I'm going to add a sphere collider. I'm going to change the radius to 0 0.1. Yeah, it looks all right. Again, we need to add a rigid body. I won't use uh, gravity. Again, and we need an XR grab interactable. But right now, if we grab this one, it's going to move independently to the door. So we need to fix its position to the door. And there's something called fixed joint. And we need to grab the door to the connected body. And now it should be working. I'm going to rename this object to knob. And if we start the game, just let's see what happens. And if I grab it, it moves really strange. So there's uh, multiple problems with it right now. Uh, first, our box collider is colliding with the frames collider. So what we can do is, so what we can do is create two layers and just disable the collision between them. So we need to add two layers. So I'm just going to create one for the door and one for the frame. And I'm going to apply it to the frame. I don't want the children to be, to have this, um, layer and I'm gonna change the doors to door. So we still need to disable the uh, collision between the door and the frame. So to do that just go to the edit, project settings, physics and at the bottom just disable the door and the frame collision. Uh, second problem is the movement type. If you remember in my previous video I talked about these three different movement types. If you want to know more just check out in the info card. So in a nutshell, right now it's an instantaneous movement type, which means it doesn't use uh, any physics. So if we change it to the velocity tracking, it should work as we want to. Okay, and let's hit play. So there is two issues. First, if we grab the other knob, it doesn't really work, or it just simply snaps to the other one. And the second one is the door can move all around the axis. So let's fix these two issues as well. So I'm just going to duplicate the knob and I'm going to move it to the other knob's position. I'm going to check if the collider is okay and that should work. And if we go back to the door, so on the hinge joint there's something called limit. And if we use that one, we can set a minimum and a maximum degree of limit. So if I say to 90 degrees, it should allow it to rotate 90 degrees. So let's try this one out. Yeah, and as you can see, it perfectly works. Both of the knobs and get stuck when it reaches the 90 degree limit. There's two more thing. Uh, it's something called spring and motor. The spring is basically pulls the door back to its uh, 
zero position and the motor is doing the same but while the spring is accelerating to that position the motor is just reaching a target velocity and and rotates to the zero position with that speed so i'm just going to demonstrate the difference between the spring and the motor so this is for the um, spring as you can see it accelerates and this is for the motor and it just uh, goes with the same speed till it reaches the zero position so that is the basics of making a door for a vr environment so that's it for this video and again if you're interested then hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you won't miss my future videos and see you in the next one